Salutations and greetings. My name's Marge. You call me Margie. I'm a Hayoka, wise clown. I just like clowning around. <clears throat> There's a couple of reasons that I've come to find that uh, are a substantial part of my being. One of those is to raise vibrations. Give people a different way of get them stuck on their tray off their program frame of ranking just to interject the idea of a different way. It doesn't matter if what I say is true or not, it's just it'll make you think about it'll open a different path of a mindset for you to elaborate on if you so choose. If not, eh. That's fine too. I have one of my old polo shirts on. It was my uniform for Tech support. <laughs> I have. It's funny. I watched a a show on that. I watch a lot of teach shows to keep my mind occupied. Uh, just to help focus and things like that. It's kind of a disciplinary tool. If I can sit and watch a show for twenty minutes, I'm pretty good. Um, I can do it for much longer. I just always think of other things I should be doing. Anyway, I watched a show called, uh, it's on Netflix. It's, the young man has, I see the picture, but I hear the song, so it's, um, 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 my mind is being torn. Anyway, he is supposedly, his character is autistic like me. Well, not. Well, they use the same word to d define his behavior that they use mine, and they summons it up into autistic. I prefer spectrometer, spectrometer, because I think it's more fun. Ooh, I really should have maybe ironed this through in the dryer. Anyway, uh, and it, it was a conversation because they were looking for polo shirts, and I like when I like. A, the feel of a fabric and the way a shirt fits and I don't like pockets here I mean I'll wear them but I don't I prefer them without it and so if I like something I buy the same color of the same because what happens is is people are always innovating and changing and creating their ideas and so next year it's not going to be the same shirt but I like this shirt that's why we have so many of them you guys just made the same thing over and over anyway kind of goes for, I put this on this morning, I don't want to get in trouble for you no know, copyright nothing, it depends on who's in charge and how they feel that day, it's fresh pineapple, if you don't believe in time machines, tell that to any girl that smells a freaking scent of body works from the early 2000s, <laughs> I remember freaking after, I was like, because I'm proactive, I know that they take things away. So when they freaking, they, the discontinue list comes out, right? And then they would bring them back for the season and, and buy a bottle for five. And I had all the money to spend, so I would just go buy. My whole bottom shelf was just all bath and just back up in stock in case you run out. It's that lack. That's that lack vibration. It is, it's taken me a great deal to overcome. Now I'm glad I have it. This is my last pineapple, fresh pineapple. I have more exotic coconut. Some my mom wears. She can have them. She spoiled those smell spills for me. I, I don't like those so much anymore. Anyway. So my line of thinking this morning brought me to this train of thought. There's creators and there's destroyers. That's the point that we are at. The division. <clears throat> People are are definitely coming to terms and I, I there's so many amends that are being made and people are standing up immediately and say no that was not me here's my account that's what you can do <coughs> if you sit quietly some people I mean the more people start getting in living in the vibrate living as I encourage people to live and that is living in the heart space of what is 
you can feel where people are coming from. You can feel if somebody is a creator of love or evidently that was important because something just went boink right when I said that. Or are you a creator of destruction? You see, people don't realize air conditioning, it doesn't cool the air. Air conditioning removes the heat. That's what greedy, evil people do. They remove your essence, which is the highest vibration of love. And they do it in any manner they can, because inside, they're like that, what was that, Men in Black movie, where there's like the little aliens inside the big old alien, and he's just like this little remote control. That's what tiny, greedy people that drive big, shiny cars, that's what they are. They don't live on the same world. They literally do not live on the same world as the rest of us because people that are entitled or have that vibration of entitlement in them, they put themselves up here and everyone else is down here. While spiritual people are trying to get people as hard as they possibly can to realize that everyone is the same. We all, with the vibration that we hold inside, make up our environment. I love art. Art is the just the most beautiful expression because what happens is, is because we are all the same consciousness somebody paints a picture of a place that they recognize or that they've been or something and then somebody else that has been there either in a dream or reality sees that and there's that recognition and that connection between the artist and the seer and the CE right now this weekend started yesterday it goes till tomorrow there's an art show in a big park in the middle of the town I live in Oregon and I swear to God if this fucking town does not create the vibration of greed I in in encompasses of all the greed that is in this nation I don't know what does they spent two days putting up fences to keep people out so that they can charge five dollars for people to go in and just walk around and be around art and they call it a fundraiser I think a casino's putting it on too but you know what's funny how is that gonna benefit me how does your fundraising for your kid oh so you can pay who you think are bigger stars to come and they draw them to your casinos because they're in cooperation with the city. Yeah. It's fucking retarded, dude. How do more people not see that this shit is fucking stupid? Try Googling water crisis in the United States. It's everywhere. It's not just my problem. It's just not, not just Flint, Michigan's problem. It's an earthly fucking problem. So, <laughs> I won't go to their art show today. I don't want to go anywhere around any of those people, but I bet if you walk around that, look at all the fucking Audis, Teslas, Rovers, big stupid trucks that are parked fucking two feet from the curb because you can't use your fucking mirrors and that's what you're supposed to be using to park is mirrors if it's too big for you to drive proper and get, fucking I fucking hate big new stupid trucks and the people that drive them most of them not all not all I'm sure maybe there's ten percent maybe their freaking uncle drove a big stupid truck in left it to him or something. I would not, I, I don't even ever want to fucking drive a big stupid truck. A big old truck? Yeah, buddy. I had a 57 Dodge. Three in the tree. Kind of let it go. It was for the good of the whole. I wish I could remember. I, somebody probably snagged it up. That body was so fucking straight. Oh my god. Maybe some rust, but it was... 
anyway, to here and now, <laughs> that's my little time machine. My point is, see, that's funny because art is supposed to be creation. And creation, you know, implements thought and things like that. That's why they don't fucking teach that in your schools. They don't want you to think. They just want you to go to... They just want to teach you how to freaking perpetuate their machine of fucking making money and perpetuating greed. People that are... People that have been... Um, I've seen it. I've seen it. I've been around it. In the military officers, people in this... You, you get so engrossed in your own personal culture and you're not willing to even look at the homeless people on the street in their mind they don't exist because they don't see them they don't look at it you don't look at things that aren't that you don't you know it's just ignorance it's just ignore la 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 my brother used to do that i can't hear you la 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 he still does that shit he's one of those program ones it's so weird why wouldn't you want if you are in a position of authority and power, why would... Oh, this is... Okay, i got to finish up on this because it's getting too long. Either you're going to create or you're going to obliterate, right? Okay, so here's what happens. You get these people that feel small, and they get into these offices and these positions. And, you're, and, and, and to piggyback on that is uh, create, destroy, help or hinder. That's the other one. Help. Are you going to help and hinder? Because you can be... You know, you can work. I've worked in Taco Bell. I've worked in fast food. I've, I've worked in every gamut. I used to deliver phone books was one job. One of those. I mean, I did. I do what I have to do. So that's why it's stupid. You think it's fucking fun for me to not work in almost two years? No, it's not. It's very hard for me. But I guess I could say I'm a caregiver. I take care of my mom. She has dementia. Whatever. Nobody cares. Unless you've had a parent that you've taken care of. But most people don't. Because they, you know... Hell, they take care of you the first 18 years of your life. Why wouldn't you put them in a fucking home for the last few years of theirs? Assholes. People just suck. They're getting better. So, help or hinder. So, you you know, you go into a fast food restaurant and if somebody's in a bad mood, you know... You could say... There could just... What I'm saying is... There's enough hindrance in this world. There's enough destruction. There's no need for wars. If they think about think about what our infrastructure would be if they would have freaking not made the it, all of the military is is a club. You got to work to get into. And if they want if they want you in their club, they'll keep you in it. And if they don't, and they'll tell you they'll they'll show their little secrets among their club members, you know. And then they'll they'll continue to do push paperwork around because no one will ever see. No one will go in and find these accounts of freaking you know, office supplies that are upwards of a million dollars. It's because people are always doing shady shit and they can cover it up because no one will ever see. To look around at the infrastructure and how it's tumbling down and how your city, your, your, your police, um, your, the, the people that are supposed to be maintaining the infrastructure and making sure that it's proper, look at all the fucking fleets of cars and how often they're building new buildings so they can just move around the city and be more comfortable and take up more space. And These are the, all the things that have become a disgrace. So endorse what you support, and if you don't, and, and that's the way of the, 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 the world now, is if you don't support them, that's how the only way you're going you're gonna to be able to show your lack of endorsement is taking their money away and killing them that way. So, it was nice to dress up today. I like to hope to wear these some more. I had so many. I, I gave some. I purged a lot when I moved. But I'm looking to move again. I'm ready to go back to work. So, it'll have to be from home. I'm looking to collaborate. I have lots of ideas. They are free for the taking. If you have the money to back them, take them. I just know that they can help people. So, hope you have a rad day. Peace.